Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, what I'm going to do is convert the Ubuntu server, which comes as command line interface as standard or default. We're going to convert that into a GUI version and we're going to use the option of Ubuntu desktop to be that front end. So first we need to log into the server. As you can see, it's a CLI version from the get go. We need to do sudo apt install task cell and press enter. Uh, put your password in because it's sudo privileges and click Y for yes to enter and proceed and just give that a moment to get everything together right that's now done just reboot that machine first and we'll let the changes take effect right log in again and the changes should now be updated on there. So your credentials and your password, press enter. Perfect, right, we're logged in. Now we're gonna do sudo apt install Ubuntu desktop and click Y to continue. And just give it a moment to get everything up to date. And I'm going to fast forward the video so you don't have to wait around, but this does take a good few minutes, I think. And then you should get a green progress bar, and that's you nearing the end. Wait for that to finish. And we're almost done. And we should get a purpley Ubuntu style GUI interface in a moment. There we go. So it just asks us which services should be restarted. If you have a read through all of those, I generally just restart all of them. Um, if you're not running anything critical from this server already, which isn't the case here because I'm running it from a virtual machine purely for the demo, then I'm just going to select everything. Obviously, if that's going to affect something on your side, then proceed as you see fit. And click OK, and then we should get a prompt down below when it's done. And then what we want to do is reboot the machine for those changes to take effect. So reboot and enter. And then with a bit of luck, what should happen now is to prove that this has been installed, we should be greeted with the Ubuntu login interface. And then we should be able to log in as normal. And that's exactly what I wanted to see, the sign of progress there. So if you click on your username, enter your password and press enter, we'll just finally confirm that we can see the GUI desktop. We'll give it a moment and there you go. So that is the desktop GUI installed on the Ubuntu server. And then what you do, just like Windows, you just configure options or click skip for now and then go next, configure it as you see fit and then in a few clicks you'll be done. And you'll notice on my channel I've done a couple of different GUI interfaces for the server. I would say this is the most robust even though it takes up more space, it's more stable. So in most cases where possible, and I've got the disk space, I'll be doing Ubuntu desktop. Now, as you can see, I've got a terminal up there as well. So that's another check that you wanna do because sometimes when you do other options for desktop, the terminal doesn't install properly, um, which can cause you a problem, especially if it's a server. So that's everything that I wanted to cover. Hope you found it useful and see how simple it really is. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Oh, my God.